everyone, this is Nicole from KenHub, and in this tutorial, we will be reviewing the arteries of the upper limb. So as we can see in this image of the upper body, the arteries in the upper limb all originate from the aortic arch. And these eight arteries and arterial regions, which branch from the shoulder to the fingers, are the subclavian artery, the axillary artery, the brachial artery, the arteries of the elbow, the radial artery, the ulna artery, the arteries of the hand and wrist, and the scapular arteries, which are found on the posterior aspect of the upper torso. So as you can see, we have quite a few arteries that are located in the upper limb. And because there are so many, we're not going to go into detail about what each artery supplies. Rather, we're just going to focus on describing their path and naming their branches, of which there are quite a few. So if you get lost, feel free to come back to this image and reorient yourself to where you are in the upper limb. But to kick things off, let's begin by looking at the subclavian artery. So in our image on the right, you can see the left and right subclavian arteries highlighted in green. And our subclavian artery is the first major artery to supply the upper limb, coming off almost directly from the aortic arch. And the right subclavian artery arises from the brachiocephalic artery, while the left subclavian artery arises directly from the aortic arch. And moving to our space on the left over here, we can see an image of the scapula, humerus and clavicle as well as the arteries that run along it. And I just wanted to show this to you because running along here, of course, is the extension of our subclavian artery, which is highlighted in green up here, almost like an extension of our image on the right over here. So you can see that when the subclavian artery passes the lateral border of the first rib, it enters the region called the axilla. And this artery is therefore known in this region as the axillary artery. The axillary artery, which is highlighted in green and which is surrounded by the brachial plexus within the axilla, can be divided into three parts. The first part, which is this first little part marked by the black lines here, gives off one branch, the superior thoracic artery. The second part, this middle bit, which is a little bit longer than the first, gives off two branches, the lateral thoracic artery and the thoracoacromial artery. And note that the thoracoacromial artery gives rise to four branches called the pectoral, acromial, deltoid, and clavicular branches. The third part of the axillary artery down here gives off three branches, the subscapular artery, the posterior circumflex humeral artery, and the anterior circumflex humeral artery. And note that the posterior and anterior circumflex arteries anastomose around the surgical neck of the humerus which you can already see happening around the neck in this image. And of course, at the inferior border of the teres major muscle, the third part of the axillary artery becomes the brachial artery. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.